Hey guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. In sports, revenge is a typical occurrence and it may often result in legendary rivalries if not simply memorable games. In sports, there are hundreds of opportunities for vengeance. So let's take a look at the top 5 most memorable revenge moments in sports. Number 5. The Packers vs Favre Favre, it appears, isn't the most committed person flip-flopping all over the place when he mulled retiring following the 2007 season. The issue was that he couldn't seem to quit thinking about it. The Packers finally parted ways with him and sent him to the Jets, much to Favre's chagrin. Because the Jets didn't face the Packers that season, Favre would have to wait until the next season to show the Packers that he still had some fight left in him. The Vikings then signed Favre in 2009 and his chance arrived. Favre defeated the Packers twice at home and Lambeau Field. You might argue that Favre should never have been in the position to seek vengeance given that if he had just stated I'm coming back, he would have been the Packers' starting quarterback for a few more years. But he didn't and after finally showing his age in the 2010 season, he retired. Favre's successor Aaron Rodgers would defeat the Vikings in each of their subsequent encounters and win the Super Bowl the following year. At the very least, Favre will always be able to play those two games. Number 4. San Francisco vs Dallas The Cowboys defeated many teams during their dynasty era from 1992 to 95, so the 49ers shouldn't be too upset. In the 1992 NFC Championship game and the 1993 NFC Championship game, the Cowboys eliminated the 49ers from the playoffs to back-to-back -back Super Bowl triumphs. The 49ers would face them again in the league title game in 1994. They were going to win this time. Steve Young would go on to eliminate the can't-win-the-big-one stigma by capping off the season with a record-setting Super Bowl triumph, passing six touchdowns, the most in the big game's history. On the other hand, the Cowboys were never the same after that. Just kidding. The following year, they defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl. They were never the same after that. Number 3. The Knicks vs. Reggie Miller the Indiana Pacers, led by Reggie Miller, kept running into the same problem in the face-offs. Patrick Ewing's hideous visage and the New York Knicks. Also, there's Spike Lee. Reggie Miller's tiny skeletal soul would be crushed when the Knicks defeated the Pacers in the first round of the 1993 playoffs and again in the 1994 Eastern Conference Finals. Miller would have a third chance at the Knicks in the second round of the 1995 playoffs and he would accomplish something in Game 1 that would go down in NBA history. He stunned the Knicks by scoring 8 points in 9 seconds to close out Game 1, setting the tone for a 7-game series that the Pacers would go on to win. Unfortunately, they expended so much time and energy defeating the Knicks that they couldn't handle Shaquille O'Neal and the Orlando Magic in the following round, losing in 7 games. Number 2. Michael Jordan vs. The Pistons It's difficult to believe that anybody could have Michael Jordan's number, but Isaiah Thomas and the Detroit Pistons blocked Jordan from reaching the promised land on several occasions. From 1988 through 1990, the Pistons knocked the Bulls out of the playoffs three times in a row, which fueled Jordan's wrath. He let out his wrath in the 1991 Eastern Conference Finals by sweeping the Pistons. The Bulls' dynasty began with this series as they went on to win the NBA Finals that year and the next two years. They would win the tournament in 1996, 97, and 98, completing a second three-peat. Number 1. Dirk and Country vs. The Heat Number 1, and it's still vivid in our thoughts. In 2006, the Mavericks had a 2-0 lead over the Heat in the NBA Finals. Then, Dwayne Wade went insane and led the Heat to four straight victories to win the NBA title. He would, without a doubt, be named Finals MVP. Dirk nevertheless kicked a bunch of stuff while Mark Cuban blasted the officials. The Mavericks would play the Heat in the NBA Finals again in 2011, this time in a highly regarded Finals with a chance to rectify the injustice from 2006, and they would. 
The Mavericks would not lose another game in the series after falling 2-1 as NBA Finals MVP Dirk Nowitzki vented his frustrations on the star-studded heat. Even though Monarchs are recognized for their crowns, not their rings, LeBron would continue to be referred to as the king without a ring. Of course, nobody's interested in the king's ring, but I'm just getting ahead of myself. The Mavericks' finals victory made many people happy, and we mean a lot. We're pretty sure people saw a couple of rainbows fly out of some fans' hearts. It was both lovely and repulsive. If you didn't see any of your favorite revenge moments in sports, do shout them out in the comments down below, and we'll catch you guys later in another awesome video. Bye now!